I have friends and family, so in recognition of World Afro Day, I just wanted to share some information with you. So as at the moment, you can see that I've got very short hair and I shared some pictures on my stories where my hair is of varying lengths down here, up here thing. Um, I cut off all of my hair in 1997 and I made a decision not to put relaxer in my hair ever again because I didn't think it was healthy. I just felt that something wasn't quite right with that. And this is no way in trying to shame people that use chemical relaxers in their hair. I believe a lot of that has to do with colorism, racism and a whole lot of other stuff of what we should class as beauty. You know, we have a very, for some of us, we have a very Eurocentric idea of what beauty is. One of the things that I would try to say is to just love your hair as it is, even if you're wearing an extension, even if you're wearing weaves, wigs, whatever it is, but try and love the natural hair that you've been given. Your body will thank you for it. There's a lot of research um, into why Afro, women with Afro textured hair have a higher propensity to things like fibroids. They found a commonality in some of the hair care products that we're putting on top of our head. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail because I'm not a specialist per se in this area, but I do know that I'm so grateful that I've been on this thing since, what, 20 odd years ago, and my children have not to date relaxed their hair, and they've always said that they're grateful for that. Um, and I'm just encouraging this World Afro Hair Day and I want more of us to just love our hair the way that it is. Actually, that's one of the basis behind my art piece, A Heart to Hold. If you notice, her hair's very short, very Afro. The actual artwork has got textured hair because it was my way of trying to encourage black women in particular to, to love themselves in every which way, shape or form that is. Just back down to the basics, down even to our afro hair, even when we're wearing the wig underneath it, to still take care of our natural, te natural textured hair. This is World Afro Hair Day. I'm Joanna Bashidly, hoping that you'll learn more, more of us to be comfortable in our hair in its natural state. And to be fair, I'll just say this from personal experience, it is such a liberating thing when you can walk down the road with your hair as short as mine is or even shorter and still feel beautiful. It's the most empowering thing. You will level up on so many areas of your self-identification and who you are as a being. I just thought I'd share that as well. This is Amjad Unabashedly. I'm getting ready to do some more stuff. Um, love and light infinitely. Peace. Let art be your becoming. Toodles.